Live from Case at 12, Good Morning San Antonio starts right now. Right now on GMSA, an SAISD off-duty officer killed early this morning after trying to break up a fight. The latest from the scene on what happened and who was responsible. And a teenager remains in the hospital this morning after police say he jumped into the river in an attempt to run away from the law. And yes, our cameras are working. That's just what it looks like outside this morning. 46 degrees to start your Saturday morning. We are going to check in with Sarah Spivey on your full forecast in just a few moments. Good morning. I'm Max Massey. And I'm Stephanie Serna. Thanks for joining us. It is almost Christmas. It's Saturday morning. I hope you can get your shopping done with uh, the fog mm -hmm. in the air. Yeah. I had actually just heard of this expression, Panic Saturday. Have you heard of this before? <laughs> no, but I can Saturday. relate. So yes. Sarah's calling it Super Saturday. Uh -huh. yeah. Panic Saturday is what I heard. Basically, if you forgot to get gifts, today is the day. you got to think positive. Super Saturday. <laughs> Panic Saturday is like, oh my gosh, i got to get those gifts. I actually have to admit there's one or two gifts that I still need to like, get. That's not bad. Yeah, I'd like to have it together. But uh, <laughs> the fog is out there this morning, reducing visibility to about a quarter of a mile in San Antonio at the moment. And it's nice and chilly in San Antonio. As you take a look at those current temperatures, it's 46 at San Antonio National Airport. Meanwhile, look up toward Bernie Stage Airfield, Kerrville. Temperatures are a lot colder in the 30s, and it's in the 50s down near Pleasanton and out uh, towards Stenson as well. So we do have that morning fog, uh, but we are eventually going to be able to see some sunshine. We'll see sunshine today. It'll be a very pleasant weekend. And in fact, I'll have your Christmas <laughs> forecast coming up, but I do want to show you the uh, the skies right now and how uh, the airports are doing any kind of airport delays. We just have that one big system in the Gulf of Mexico that's going to make it pretty uh, stormy for the southeastern quarter of the United States. So we'll be on the lookout for airport delays right now across the nation. No major delays to talk about and zooming in to local airports around the state of Texas. Again, everything is looking just fine at the moment. I'll be back with your sunshine forecast and your Christmas forecast in just a few. Max, Stephanie. Thank you, Sarah. Top stories we're following today. An off-duty SAISD police officer run over and killed this morning on the city's south side. Investigators are still in the 700 block of Hotwells Boulevard off of I-37 South. Now, police say the officer was run over intentionally, and this morning they are still on the search for those suspects involved. Alicia Barrera is live on the scene with the latest. Alicia, have police provided any description on who exactly they're looking for? Very minimal details, but yes, we know they're looking for two men and one of them was seen wearing a red hooded sweatshirt and black jeans and here still a very active scene. Here's what we know so far about what happened earlier this morning. The victim is an off duty SAISD police officer who worked as overnight security for this IHOP. We're told the fight broke out inside the restaurant. That was around 345 this morning. The officer then tried to break up the fight and was actually able to just for a little bit and get it, get those involved outside to the parking lot. But things unfortunately only got worse for that officer. The officer was assaulted and fell to the ground. Police say two suspects then got into a gray sedan, intentionally ran that officer over, abandoned the car on the scene, and then ran off. The officer was pronounced dead on the scene this morning. We, of course, have family assistance uh, notifying his family at this time. Uh, this is a very, very, very tragic situation. Uh, we do have individuals uh, detained. Uh, we know that two suspects took off from the location. Both appear to be Hispanic males in their mid to late 20s. Again, police do have description for at least one of those males, a red hooded sweatshirt and black jeans. And we know that police were able to take several people downtown for questioning, but no arrests have been made. All we know about the officer is that he's a 27 year veteran with SAISD's police department. And from what we've been able to see this morning, um, just right next to me, several SAISD police units. So um, his coworkers, his friends here to pay their respects and try to get a little bit more information. But again, police this morning still looking for those suspects involved. Reporting on the city's south side, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Alicia. Other top stories we're following this morning. A man recovering in the hospital after police say he crashed his vehicle into a pole. All of this happening in the 1400 block of Vance Jackson around 2.30 this morning. 
Now, police tell us the man was speeding on Vance Jackson, headed south when he lost control of his vehicle and slammed into an electric pole. Now, we're told emergency crews had to use the jaws of life to cut the driver out. Police say they do not believe alcohol was a factor in this crash. And a confrontation between three teenagers and police ended with one of those teens jumping into the river. All of this starting around 8.30 last night when officers responded to a call for an assault at a shop inside River Center Mall. Officers tell us there was a confrontation between two groups in the mall and one teen ran out of the mall and jumped about 30 feet into the river embankment. That teenager was taken to the hospital. Police arrested the other two teens in connection with the incident. They're facing charges of unlawfully carrying a weapon, assault, and making terroristic threats. Well, the holidays are just a few days away, but happening today, the 27th annual Feast of Sharing Holiday Dinner. It's all part of HEB's ongoing initiative to fight hunger throughout Texas and Mexico. This year, they prepared holiday meals with all the fixings, including ham, sides like mashed potatoes and green beans, and of course, plenty of dessert. And the Feast of Sharing is open to anyone in need of a meal. It is happening at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center from 11 a.m. today until 3 p.m. And it's for all of those who need it. VIA is offering free rides to the feast. You just have to let the bus driver know where you're headed. This is it. Go Spurs, go. It is game day for the Silver and Black. And tonight we are going to see a familiar foe, the return of Kawhi Leonard and the LA Clippers. Oh, Kawhi. <laughs> <laughs> the Clippers are the second best team in the Western Conference, but in their last visit to the Alamo City back on November 29th, they actually lost to the Spurs. And tip off for tonight's game is set for 730. It should be a good matchup coming off that Really great win. The Spurs had a come from behind victory against the Brooklyn Nets thanks to Patty Mills. So we'll see if they can uh, get a win streak going. Yeah. Win, they get win. it. Yeah. Go, go Spurs, Spurs go. <laughs>